This is your lovely host, Sergey, and we are at Sochi, yay! Uh, you know why I'm so happy? Because I don't like being frizz. This is the Fish Stadium. This is the Sochi Park. This is Sirius Hotel. We stayed in this hotel. I'll show you the room later. $5 per day for two persons, me and Ponka. Breakfast included. If you want to know how did we get such a low price, ask me and I'll give you an answer because I don't want to give any kind of promotion. And now we are walking in the Emiratinsky Resort. Uh, it's famous for the Winter Olympic Games and for the World Cup as well. Because most of the Olympics took place right here. I'm very happy to be here because such a sweet November. Usually, even I, I thought that Russia is a cold country because I've been living in, uh, in the middle of Russia, in the Volga River, in Tolyati. This is the map. And this is Sochi. It's on the seaside. Right in front of me, there is a snow in the mountains. Can you believe that? And I'll give you a few tips of how to get a good experience being in Sochi and don't spend extra money on that. So stay with us, follow our channel, press the heart button and the belly. And don't forget that Sochi is in a good climate so you can get a lot of food right here on the street anywhere you want to. This is a small apples. There is mandarins, hurma, pomegranate. Yeah, so don't be hungry. Just grab something from the trees. So this is the park where I hear, but the entrance has got to be right here because in here everything is closed. So before you go into the park, check the map where the entrance is. that's the park itself and a few things for you to know take some uh, seeds for the birds take some bread for the swan take some uh, carrot leaves for the rabbits and take some comfortable shoes because the ground here is like small stones blue agava the plant originally from Mexico, but also brought to Sochi and looks like this plant is being used to make a tequila. Government or somebody decided, hey, we gotta think about animals, so let's make a park at the place there is a park already. We just put a fence around and make just one exit and one entrance so the birds will feel comfortable keep on flying here to make a nest to families and kids and all those grown-up stuff it was not bad but to be honest the the park is average it's a little bit empty and of course you might be enjoying feeding a swan or playing with a rabbit or whatever but if you have a few days available and you don't know what to do maybe you should take a step in for a longer period of time make a picnic enjoy the good weather with the family but if you have just a few days in Sochi then forget about this park today we're walking around in Meritinka but our next episode will be about different places in Sochi, which like for me is much more better, such as Krasnaya Poliana, waterfalls, and Sochi itself. Stay around. We are still walking around this park after get out and we need to get to the embankment. Traffic is awful here. 
you can use um, Lastichka trains. They are moving from Sochi to Adler to Emiritinka and to Krasnaya Polana and stop at Hosta. Nice, right? There's a tourist street, you can rent a vehicle for you. There's a field tower and don't forget everything here is cost more than you can find it somewhere else and the wine is not natural on the streets. Mm -mm. This is the end of Russia, I might say, because right there on this any direction is the border with Abkhazia and here you can see what it's look like to be a tourist in the in the, in the furthest part of Russia. And that's the road to the embankment. Some people, as you can see, are still there to swim. I also can take a swim, you know. I just don't want to. It's not because I'm afraid of the cold water. There is a lot of different houses for rent, different restaurants, cafes, canteens, activities, animal photos, anything you can imagine could be an embankment. You'll see it in Sashi. Kids playing football, girls playing volleyball. Cover all the embankment by the walk. We are heroes. And now we came to uh, Sochi Park and Olympic Park. There is a vehicle ran, upside down house, millions of restaurants, one of the fancy hotels. That's the racetrack for the kids. If you're a grown up and if this one is too small for you, over there, there's a stand of a real racetrack for Formula One, for RSTG. Don't take those guys who is trying to uh, excursions on the Olympic Park. They will put you on this electric car for like 10, 15 euros, drive you around those buildings. Uh, there's nothing really important. If you want to take a look inside, then you gotta buy tickets for the games. Hockey, football, or soccer if you're from the United States, or racing, that's the only way. Otherwise, you'll be just driving around, same as we're just walking here. And there's a fairy land for a kid, I think. Halloween pumpkins. And that's my pumpkin. Ugh. And that's my friends from Bali. I'm not going in there, but if you want to uh, scream a little bit, it's up to you. Magnificent Sochi Park, magnificent Olympic Park, magnificent sunset, magnificent friends. Oh, go to Russia enjoy your life and right there you can see the olympic torch and there is a, a stand and a fountain that was also singing with music and lights my friend he is very positive dude but now he's upset because he's trying to find some place for rent but already faced the problem a lot of apartments located up in the hills you know because there is a landscape and it's very hard to walk all the time from a bus stop Try to find a place nearby the train station, so you can use Lastochka. Uh, those Lastochka is going to the center of Sochi, to Emiritinka, to Krasnaya Polana and to Hosta. From Hosta it's easier to get to all those nature spots, such as waterfalls. In one week you can travel to all these directions and discover all the Sochi for yourself.
hello. So today we are going to take a view at a hotel, at the cafeteria and for the other places in Emirutinsky Resort. But first, let's take a look at our room. This is a balcony, okay? Okay, quite big but empty. And there is a yard. Let's open the window and take a look. There's the Sochi Park over there. And there's the room. Two beds. Uh, we've been sleeping, so uh, we'll clean it later. What else? A table, a mirror, a TV set, and a fridge. All this, and also a closet, bathroom. Quite a normal. Painted water with alcohol. Oh my god! So don't take those wine for 150 rubles per bottle. It's not true. It's a chemistry, not a natural one. Uh, I've been in different resorts in Europe and in Asia, in Turkey in the end, which is between Europe and Asia. And I can say that Sochi is quite competitive. But if you are living in Russia, if you are Russian, of, or if you came for Russia to Russia and live here and work here. It's also a good option to make your summer last longer because today is still a November, 4th or 5th November and it's very, I'm very happy to just walk around in a t-shirt and enjoying the grass around me. Dalma, a Setinian pie, a Hachapuri Podjarski. That is three things you have to taste there and Hinkali fried hinkali but not here in Sochi later I will make a location and believe me from all those cafeterias here that's the view and there will be a spot and that the amazing canteen with a good food and low price and all the people I know who've been eating here never get some problems with their stomach if you know what I mean be one point half dollar no one dollar there is also so, uh, a fish. it is low price and a good pot if you need a cab just call a cab don't try to use those ones those guys are not really good at it they will try to sell you wine for fine fun with they will take double triple price for the ride and like everywhere else except indonesia not many people in the water now because the water is just uh, 18 degrees above zero you people still can afford themselves to hold it me too today or tomorrow i find a place in time for swimming and i'll prove that you can swim till the end of autumn and there's a fish stadium stands the famous one out of the stadium stands. Tesla, SSSR and Leonardo. Wonderful museums. I've been there, believe me. Show you the flags. Uh, most of the time they of course they flying in the wind, but not today. Sorry for that. Fountain is thinning on the nighttime. We got a lot of light. I think they have shows at 8 p.m. Short piece of a uh, Formula One track. It's just very slow. She's driving now. Take one of them for rent. Drive the car if you dream on a real racetrack. I have a friend who is in charge of uh, the racing organization here on Sochi Autodrome. Not the Formula One, but the Russian series. And he's the big boss there, so he invited me and I said yes. And a few years ago I've been here on this track and I've been sitting in a race car next to the driver and this was pure adrenaline. I like it a lot and I can assure you that you will be amazing. It's the Olympic Park and that is a Formula One track. That is me. 
It's very hot today. And we're walking to the Rainbow Bridge in front to cross it to get a bus and it'll take us to the Sochi. We're going to the mountains direction because there is a big bus stop and we will take one of them. And this bus will take us to our next episode. See ya. There is a map. So there is the bus stop, there is a train station with the Olympic rings and human created waterfall. We are very tired, so thank you for being with us. Please subscribe our channel, press the heart button, support us, has something in the comment line. I will give you a little more details and maybe in the future we will become much more better and much more richer. Thank you. So uh, if you came here to the bus stop, this Please take bus number 55 if you go into Sochi. It's on the right stop. And this one is the fastest to get to the Sochi. So, see you there. Bye-bye. We are in place and ready to go. I hope so do you. Go to Russia. <laughs>